Hello guys and welcome back to TechWolf. In this tutorial of our Cisco Packet Tracer course, today we will be doing Cisco Packet Tracer step by step switch configuration. And in this tutorial we will configure a Cisco switch in Cisco Packet Tracer to build a basic local area network or LAN. We will create a network with multiple PCs connected through a switch and configure VLANs or virtual local area networks to segment the network traffic. And this setup is useful for understanding how to manage manage switch configurations, ensure proper communication and enhance network security. We will start by network design and in this network design we will have one Cisco switch. We will be using Cisco switch 2960. This is layer 2 Cisco switch. We will add four PCs connected to the switch using straight through Ethernet cables and we will create two VLANs or virtual local area networks where one will be VLAN 10 for PCs in group 1 and VLAN 20 for PCs in our second group or group 2. We will assign IP addresses to the PCs. We will configure switch and in our switch configuration we will set a hostname for the switch. We will assign ports to virtual local area networks. Remember we are creating two groups of PCs where in each group will be two PCs and we will assign ports on the same switch for these groups of PCs and we will enable inter PC communication within the same virtual local area network and then we will verify connectivity using PIN command. So let's get into it and first let's add the devices and let's start by network devices. Click on network devices at the left bottom corner and here in the next field select switches. Find the very first switch which will be 2960. Click on it and click somewhere on workspace where you would want to place this switch. And now let's add four PCs or computers and to do that in the very first field in the left bottom corner click on end devices and here to the right select PC. And let's add four PCs. Select PC again, add another PC and another two PCs. Then to connect devices in the left bottom corner select connections and here to the right select copper straight through cable. First we will click on the switch, select fast Ethernet 01 and then we will click on our first PC which is PC0 in our scenario and let's add it to fast Ethernet 0. And let's do exactly the same with all other devices. Copper straight through cable, click on switch, fast Ethernet 2, let's click on our second PC, copper straight through cable, let's click on switch, let's add it to fast Ethernet 03 and let's add it to the third, this is PC2 in our scenario and click on fast Ethernet 0. And let's add our last device, click on copper straight through cable, click on switch and fast Ethernet 04 and let's click on our fourth device and let's connect it to fast Ethernet 0. And in the next step we need to assign IP addresses to our PCs. Let's start by adding nodes to each of these PCs so we know what IP addresses we are assigning them. So in future when we are working with any networks it by adding these nodes as you can see here in the top second or third navigation if you click on place note you will be able to place note under each of these PCs so it will allow us easier to understand which PC is which. So let's click under this first PC which in our scenario is PC0 and we will be assigning IP address 192.168.1.10.2 now click on our PC1 or which is PC2 in our scenario and let's, and let's assign IP address 192.168.10.3 and we will also be assigning IP addresses to PCs which are on the right hand side. However, these PCs which are on the right hand side, they will be on different network and that we will be configuring in our switch. So let's assign the IP address of our PC2 or which will be on another network. This will be in network 20. So let's click under PC2 and let's add the nodes that we will be assigning to this PC IP address of 192.168.20. Dot two. As you can notice on the left hand side to these two PCs we assigned IP address with dot 10 but on the right hand side we are assigning IP addresses with dot 20. This means that these four devices will be on two networks where in each network we will have two PCs. One will be in IP of range with dot 10 and devices on the right hand side will be in IP range with dot 20. So let's add another note under PC3 192.168. 
20.3. Now let's assign these IP addresses. Hover in the right top corner back to this selection tool and now click on this for our first PC, which is PC0 in our scenario. Here select desktop and click into IP configuration. Here make sure that static is selected and in very first field IPv4 address let's assign IP address 192.168.10.2. Click into subnet mask field and it will get populated automatically. Let's do exactly the same for all other devices. Let's click on PC2 in our scenario which is PC1 and click on desktop IP configuration 192 dot 168 dot 10 and dot 3 and click into a subnet mask field and close this and now let's click on this side of these devices here we also select desktop click in IP configuration and here we type in 192.168.20.2 and click in my subnet mask close this field let's click on our fourth device Let's click in desktop IP configuration 192.168.20.3 and click into subnet mask and close this window. So now we have assigned all IP addresses to all our devices and as these devices on the left hand side are on network.10 and these devices on the right hand side are on network.20 we need to configure our switch and to do that let's click on the switch here select CLI or command line interface and hit enter and once you will hit enter you will see switch first thing what we will need to do is to enter a global configuration mode and to enter a global configuration mode we need to type in enable hit enter and type in configure terminal and hit enter Sorry, I made a mistake. Configure terminal and hit enter. And first thing what we will be doing now is we will be setting the switch host name. And we will call this switch simply my switch. And to do that, type in host name, space, and you can choose any name for your switch host name. Like I mentioned, I will be typing in simply my switch and hit enter. And as you can see now, it is my switch and we are in configuration. What we will be doing, we will be creating these VLANs. As you remember, we had this VLAN or virtual local area network one with .10 and another one is with .20, as you can see here on the right hand side. These two devices are with .20 and these two devices on the left hand side, they are with Tot 10. So we need to configure the switch and create these two VLANs. And to do that here in CLI type in space 10 and hit enter and we will give a name of group 1. Type in name and type in group 1 and hit enter. Type in exit and hit enter again. And now we have to do exactly the same for our other VLAN. So type in VLAN space 20, hit enter, type in name space group 2 hit enter and type exit and hit enter and now we have created a vlan 10 and we have created a vlan 20 and once we have created these two vlans with these two groups group 1 and group 2 we need to assign a ports to these vlans where we will be assigning fast ethernet 01 and fast ethernet 02 ports to vlan 10 this will be for these two devices and we will be assigning fast Ethernet 03 and 04. As you remember, we connected these two devices on the right hand side to ports fast Ethernet 03 and 04. And let's continue by typing in interface space fast Ethernet 0 forward slash 1 and hit enter. And now type in switch port mode access and hit enter. And now type in switch port access VLAN 10, hit enter and type in exit and enter. And this way we have assigned fast Ethernet 01 port to our VLAN 10. And now we have to do exactly the same with all other three ports as there are two ports for VLAN 10 and two ports for VLAN 20. So let's do exactly the same for our fast Ethernet 02. I will just click arrow up so I return back to interface fast Ethernet 01 and I will change 1 to 
2 and hit enter and then again by clicking on our rows up let's return back to command switch port mode access and hit enter and again hit arrow up on your keyboard until you will get to switch port access vlan 10 and hit enter here again arrow down until you will get to ex exit and hit enter and exactly the same needs to be done with fast ethernet ports 0 3 and 0 4 only those we need to assign to switch port access vlan 20 rather than 10 so let's do exactly the same after you have done exit let's type in interface fast ethernet 0 3 here we change to 3 hit enter here switch port mode access hit enter here switch port access vlan 20 not 10 but 20 hit enter and exit and hit enter and and again we need to assign fast ethernet 0 4 here we change 3 to 4 hit enter go to switch port mode access hit enter again arrow down until you will get to switch port access vlan 20 hit enter and exit and hit enter and now we have assigned all these four ports. First two ports on the switch for fast Ethernet 0, 01 and fast Ethernet 0, 02 we have assigned to VLAN 10. And, and fast Ethernet ports 0, 03 and fast Ethernet 0, 04 ports which are on the switch we have assigned to VLAN 20 which are for our devices on the right hand side of this switch. And last thing what we need to do is to save this configuration and type in here write space memory and hit enter. So type exit again as we got this error and type again activate memory and OK and close this down. Let's open a command line on our first PC which we added which is PC0. Let's click on to the command prompt and let's try to ping this our first computer. So type in ping 192.168.10.3 and hit enter. And as you can see pinging is taking place. This means that they are on the same network and these two devices are able to communicate. And now from the same device which is in 192.168.10.2 let's try to ping any of these devices which are on the right hand side. And this communication should fail because these devices are on different VLANs. As you can see here they are on different VLANs. One is .10, one is .20 and they theoretically can't communicate to each other without a router. So let's try to ping from 192.168.10.2. Let's try to ping this device which, which is 192.168.20.2. Let's type in 192.168.20.2 and hit enter. And as you can see pinging 192 with the bytes are of data currently it's trying to ping but it is not able to ping. This means that what we have done here is we have created two networks. We assigned ports to each of these network. We created a group that this is group one on the left hand side and this is the group second. We gave a name to our switch and on this switch we separated local area network into two networks which are not able to communicate with each other. In this tutorial I just wanted to show you how you can separate networks, how you can create a virtual local area network from a local area network and how you can divide a network and how you can assign ports on switch. And if you found this video useful leave a like, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new and see you in the next one.